Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. This is Madden 18 on EA Sports. This week, we've got a pair of teams who come in on different paths. All right, Larry, thank you very much. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between our visitors and the Houston Oilers. Here we go, the final week of the NFL season. Week 17 is underway. This one taken just inside the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. This is Chark Hendrick West. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He didn't want that. He didn't want that. Eight yards to go here on second down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. On target over the middle of the hill. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And that one results in 35 yards. We saw him hit a big play there on a deep post. And most of the time, the post isn't available because you usually have defenders in the middle of the field. But if you throw enough curls and crossing routes and underneath routes, <laughs> I know from experience, they get tired of watching those balls get caught. They start to creep up a little bit, and that's when you can hit them big over the top. On first down, Mahomes. And he'll win it over the middle. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Probably mean to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. Let's go. Three, nineteen. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. So if I'm an offensive coordinator, there's one thing that I know for sure. This is one of the top five teams in the NFL against the run. So when I look at my playlist, I'm probably thinking about throwing it. Shift together here from the D-line. Mahomes to throw on second down. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. He lost four there, and it's third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Working from the gun, Mahomes. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now, that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. Detroit! 
They'll run it with Wentz. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Second and goal. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Tyreek Hill with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And this offense takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. And it's good to make it 7-0. now to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. Now a hit and a loose football. And the defense will get their hands on it. Going the other way. And down inside the red zone at the 19-yard line. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick, you don't hear, tuck it away, tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. Ball secured under a heavy rush, and down he goes. They were able to win last week despite him being sacked four times. They might need to tighten the reins a little bit or this one may not end in another victory. You're right about that. They can't count on just winning the game no matter what happens. They can't let the accumulation of hits and harassment in the pocket get to their quarterback. Got to stop that. Give him clean lanes to throw the football in order to have a better chance to win again this week. Buying time to his left. The ball comes out. It's going the other way. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk reward. You, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit and in this case lose the football? So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it. But I think ultimately you've got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. No gain on the play there. A second down. Well, at least he was able to break that initial contact or it could have been a loss. Yeah, give credit to the defensive player, though. What did he do? Made him slow down, slow up his feet, and allowed the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off. Second and ten. And he slings one that's incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Reggie Ragland. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Here 
Here's West. And down inside the 15 he goes. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Mahomes now on first down. And he's got it. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Tyreek Hill with his 14th touchdown of the year, second of the game. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. Around the NFL, a game going on in Washington. And it's the Cowboys that have moved down to an early advantage. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now this offense ready to head back out there. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Nine yards still remaining here to pick up the first on second down. Now back to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brandon Marshall leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. What will Webb try to do here after the sack as he brings his guys up third and long? He'll drop to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. A short gain there of just four, and that'll bring up a fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Back with Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon, and our drive continues here to start quarter number two, but likely not for long as they're in punt formation to kick it away. And they bring their punter out there now. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. He punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Taken in at the 22. 12 yards on the return that time. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. And now out comes Houston. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Here we go now. They start on the ground with West. They'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, and hit them over the top. Second down, here's Mahomes. Flush to his right. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. So a third and ten, and defensively, a dime look. Six DBs. Right, 
Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively, you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. You know, in our research packet this week, prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggles of this team and what will they do this offseason? What do you think they'll do? Well, number one, they'll turn to their self-scouting report. And every team that's any good does this. They have outside groups who check out their team, scout them, and tell you who can play, who can't play, and reasons why. Some of it may just be health. They have to get some guys healthy and back out on the field. But overall, evaluate this squad and make the changes that you need to. They'll throw. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Kevin Pierre-Lewis in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. What will Webb try to do here after the sack as he brings his guys up third and long? Hurry up, here we go. They'll look to throw here. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the... Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And the return will stop right around the 25. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well, swarming to the ball here in the first half. This is Wes. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. Detroit! Detroit! Now it's Mahomes. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Here we go. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Well, there was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from Mahomes and company. Chased out left. Checks it underneath to Langford. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Give him six on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So on fourth down, Andy Reid decides to send in the field goal unit. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And the kick by Butker is good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So after the pick, they can't capitalize for six, but they do get three. And I know in this situation, most of us want to focus on the offense. You know what side of the ball I played on. Let's give that defense a lot of credit. Taking it over in a sudden change situation and shutting them down.
Now a carry for Lorenzo Taliaferro. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second and ten. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. An update, meanwhile, from over in Jacksonville. The Jaguars extending their lead to a couple of touchdowns now. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Good open field tackling there. A 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. forward to about the 27 yard line give him three on first down it'll set up a second and seven two minutes remain here in the first half we're back to Houston after this timeout Seven yards to go on second down. All right, here we go. Now Mahomes. He's got the hookup with Conley. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This time it's third and three. down at about the 38. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Green, 39! Green, 39! Mahomes now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hill. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Throw left side taken in by Hill. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A really good pickup of 28 yards. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. They'll run it now out of the gun. West wiggles free. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 
17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now a play fake here on first down. Forced out to his left. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Mahomes now to throw. That's complete right around the eight. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Charkandrick West as the first half is winding down. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. And the lead will grow by one more. Butker now to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. Typically down to the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive. But they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, and normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But normally I'm the one pr uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time, first half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead and we resume action here in quarter number three. Elsewhere, second quarter in DC and it's the Cowboys that have moved down to an early advantage. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. So here they come, the road team now getting the football first to start this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. Green. Over, over, over. Over, over. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. That one taken in by Carlos Henderson. The reception good for seven. It's third down. I know we just saw a nice throwing catch, but how about the big guys up front they buying that time? time. Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen. It turned into a really nice play. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. Another drive comes and goes. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. This is taken at about the 14. Nifty footwork at the 45. A big time return there. 40 yards. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Green, 39! 
They go play action here on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Harris. That one goes for 24 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Well, it certainly appears that the big guys up front have taken charge of the line of scrimmage. Two really nice plays back-to-back. -back. But on the defensive side of the ball, there shouldn't be any despair. Okay, they've got us a couple of times here. Hang in there. Keep your composure. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Chris Conley, his second touchdown on the season. And this offense continues to pour it on. I know a lot of people look at these games and think, all right, this thing's done. Let's have some sportsmanship. Let's not try and score. You should never do that in the NFL. I've seen big leads blown, and teams that looked like they had a victory, all of a sudden were going home with a loss. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And now back out comes the offense. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, it told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. Again, they run with Talia Farrell. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. This offense so far on third down, a pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. Here it's third and two. They run with Talia Farrow. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. Let's go. Green, 39. Green, 39. They'll try it on the ground. Tally of and he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It'll be a gain of four. And they're able to convert here on fourth and inches. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. On the carry, it's Talia Farrow. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. All right, now, lucky 56. Ah! They'll run it now, out of the gun. <laughs> Finding some room at midfield. And nothing but daylight ahead. And all the way in for the touchdown. A big play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And his guys are able to cut into that deficit. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. On 
And did the kicking team get it? Yes. The onside kick works like a charm. Well, I guess they felt like they needed something to get them going. Maybe you wait for this type of a play, but they try the onside kick, and it works. I'm starting to wonder if the analytics coach is starting to get involved in the football nowadays. When you see this type of play made, this type of a risk taken, sometimes there's different influences going into the head coach's ear. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs, and let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. No, 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 Eyes up, head up, up run right go, through. Here we go. gun they'll look to throw and drops it incomplete and their struggles continue here well plain and simple that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass and that one i think maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped surprising and was this game announced as a night game prior to and maybe his rhythm got is just off he's got know. thrown off he's got to wake up enjoy the sunshine and go play on third down it's tate and bulldozing his way through. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. A gain of six there on first. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Flushed out right. Open space. And the ball is knocked out. And this is picked up by the defense. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He had gained really good yardage. But that's what you tell your quarterbacks, right? Get down after you've got the run. You don't have to prove your toughness. You know, I think that's what a lot of coaches are trying to preach to their guys. Get the yardage. Get down. Protect the football. And protect yourself from extra hits as well. They begin here with a run by West. A little juke, and he'll lose yardage and be down at the seven-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one. Maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. All right, here we go. They'll run again here with West. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Yeah, let me puff out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. Elsewhere in the NFL, they're in the second half at FedEx Field now. And you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. The offense on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and 15. near his goal line. Here's Mahomes. And in the most curious way there to burn some clock. That was wild. And at the end of all that, it winds up a safety. All right, Charles, help me out here. Fourth quarter, you've got the lead and you run backwards into the end zone. You're just trying to do too much. I almost don't have words for it. But you know, every coach that we talk to talks about running backs or people. And now a fumble. The ball's out. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble or that could have been trouble. 
Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> They'll look to throw. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henderson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. shy of midfield at the 48 just a yard on the catch there it'll be second and nine you got the big lead defensively willing to give him that underneath stuff right and this is why you work on your tackling tackle him after the catch inbounds keep the clock running just go ahead and bleed the game out that way call it an eight yard gain much better shape now on third and just a yard well partner i know this type of running back i mean this size this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And incomplete here on third down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth right, down. Green, 39. Over, over, over. 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 They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is knocked down from the side. Two yards is the pickup, and that'll give him a first down. Oh, he's not going to get it by much, but on fourth and one, all you're worried about is moving the sticks. And here he's able to fight his way forward for a couple of yards, and that's all he needed. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Watch it now, Barney. Barney. Now let's go. Blue lining. Blue lining. Back to throw. They're looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. So here we go, first and ten now. Strong left, strong left, strong left. Here we go now. And a short gain here, down to the 22. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 
A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. Taliaferro, and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yes, yeah, now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try to put it in that way. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll make it third and goal. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And his guys are able to close that gap just a bit. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he will get into the end zone to shave two more points off the deficit. Now McManus on to kick this one off. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. And now out comes Houston. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. And they don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. Now West. Oh, twisting away. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. So second and nine, the defense looking to put them in a bad spot here. Here comes the D swarming to the line. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. The Cowboys got it over the middle. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So the offense has it first and 10. On the ground, it's West again. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, Hard to get them started again occasionally. And this offense on third down today, two for five to this point. This will be third and six. Jeremy Langford is in. He gets the carry. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. And well, they could just run this clock out, but here is the field goal unit on fourth down. This to make it a three-score game late.
And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the home team here, a final win here means they'll finish off the regular season at a solid 13-3. And, and now they'll await the final seeding for the playoffs ahead. Meanwhile, for our visitors, it'll be a 10-loss season as they wrap up 6-10. And, and I think you have to say, ultimately, this was a team that really underachieved.